right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Midgard Golf. We're out here today for episode two, the back nine, at this beautiful course in Castle Rock, Plum Creek. Just gorgeous out here. And here, speaking of Castle Rock, is a nice close-up view of the Castle Rock. I think I, I, I put it out a couple times in, in episode one, but anyway, there you are. That's a really good view on it. So here we are, 10th hole, pretty straightforward, par four. Just pump one out there. You got some mist room to the left and a little bit of mist room to the right, but definitely missing left is the preference if you're going to miss this uh, fair to midland fairway here. And from where I stand, playing from these blue tees, and we're playing the combo tees today, so you're going to see us bounce back and forth between blue and white for just over 6,100 yards total play distance. Um, yeah, so anyway, from where I stand right now, it's about 328 to get on the front of the green, so a little further up, about 325 from the actual tee box right here. So, anyway, gorgeous looking hole. Let's get it out there. And we're doing a four ball scramble. Yeah, if you had, if you had missed episode one, go back and check it out. It's myself, Austin up here, Boss. Our, our resident pro, Brett. <laughs> and the man who comes through clutch every time we need him to, big time. <laughs> Pricey. <Bryson. laughs> Big time clutch Bryson. <laughs> clutch Bryson. <laughs> Let's get it on. <laughs> oh, there it is. Just pumped. That is just destroyed. Oh, no. Oh, oh okay. No, it's shy of him. It's shy of him. I was like, oh my god, did you actually reach him? <laughs> He's going to be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're gonna 50,000 subscribers next week. <laughs> nice. Oh, so just nice. pumped. Nice. Look at this. Oh no. Oh, oh, what the heck was that? Oh, it's still bouncing. It bounced over the ridge way left. Well, it's not way, 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 way left. Yeah. But it's like, so the miss area to the left there, it's just to the left of that. But that far ridge where it like really has that serious slope, it like bounced across the top of that. Yeah, that was the weirdest bounce I've ever seen. Yeah, dude, it's it's like coming back. It must have hit a sprinkler head or something. It cut straight around. Yeah. <laughs> Come on back now. Oh, well, that one's findable though. Yeah, oh, it's still bouncing down the car path. Right towards those electrical boxes all right, right, all right. there. <laughs> That's, I mean, you got the right idea with the lag in your backswing. That's just a little much. Yeah. So here we are back on the 10th hole. We got Brett's ball right up here, beautiful in the fairway, just on the tip. About 100 yards to get on that pin. So, taking 58, I reckon we're all taking about a light wedge. Let's uh, give it a crack and check it out. All right, everybody, so actually I lied. <laughs> we found uh, Bryson's ball over here, who's just off the fairway, but a better angle under the green. We don't have to worry about the strap in our way if we screw up shots, so we're actually gonna take his ball. <laughs> And still about the same yardage to get on that stick. That's a range ball. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're everywhere. Yeah. So many range balls. Alrighty. About a hundo. Let's check it out. Oh, buttery. Oh, we're putting. The man puts us on the green. No kidding, mine was right next to the fairway, like level with your ball. Oh really? Yeah. Nice <laughs> <laughs> Right next to the car path, I meant. Like right next to the car there. I was like, you're kidding me with this car path. Goodness. I always do it too. Oh, 
Ooh. Okay. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, just over. Oh, way over. Way over. Oh, just on the front. Oh, long. Shoot with the 58. Goodness. Well then. For the win. You went right at it, but it, to tell you the truth, it's, it doesn't. It was a good putt. Yeah, it breaks. It breaks left, and I thought it was. I thought it was right all day. That's the solo par for sure. Yeah, you got it. You got it. That's cool. Yeah, tap it in. Oh, get in. On, Do yeah. it. Yes, yes. Do it. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, that might have been the line right for it. Was the line. Get it in for us. For the team. Save our bird right here, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, It was a good try to control it though. Alright, par's good. Still even par. Ooh. Yeah, 230. Alright, here we are, everybody. To the middle, and then from there, 207 out. Okay. Well, yeah, if you choose to do that. Well, everybody, so here we are back on hole 11, short par 5. Only 438 to get on from these white tee boxes it's got us on. But a hard, hard, like swooping curve hole to the left. So, yeah, I think driver's the play here. Try to put the draw, draw on it. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> and uh, put us in position to hopefully try to get on it too. It'll be all right. It's perfect. Good, 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 good spot. Yeah, just right. off. That's fine. Right. Nothing wrong with that. Hopefully. Ooh. Pop line. Tell you what, though, it might end up in a it might end up in a better spot than mine is because you're cutting off distance on the left side of the fairway. You know. Oh, come on. Get up. Uh, I think that's going to be good up there. That's, I, think I mean, so. that's distance-wise. That's the best. That's, that's the closest to the hole, I think. Yeah. The question's going to be a little... Ooh, that's yeah, actually a great drive. Down. Yes. Oh, get All right. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, this guy dropped the ball. <laughs> it was a good hit, though. You got your hips for it that time. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's 
close. Could be up there. Yep. Not bad. I'll take it. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> Ooh. Well, the good news is the worms have been decimating this area, <laughs> and you just killed probably. Well, battery died for Bryson, but he hit a beautiful one up there. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, we're <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh stop turning. Sweet. Sitting around the same area? Yeah, yeah he's up there with me a little bit. Alright, everybody, so here we are. Third shot, green side. Oh! Ooh, nice. Oh! Oh! Oh, he put it so close. Let's get on that. Yeah! That's a beautiful chip from down here. That's beautiful. Another nice one. I Bryson, one. running it out. Bryson. Oh. Gotta stay high. Oh man. We're giving ourselves a good chance for bird here. Yeah. Not bad. Look at the look at the hands. Alright. Not bad. See, I can't tell how far or close any of them are. Got for birdie. Nope. Ooh. That was okay. Left to right. Yeah, left to right. <laughs> Shut <laughs> Get in. No. Oh, no. All right. Ooh. If I leave this short, Pressure on. if I leave this short, <sighs> yeah, it was more uphill than I thought it was. But... Same thing. Oh my goodness! You gotta, you're it, you gotta leave it high. You're kidding. You gotta put it like down here. Austin, yeah, leave it high left on that one. Yeah. Okay. You wanna, you wanna put it like out. Like it. Oh, uh, all right. All right. Oh, uh, see, like he punched it right through. Well, the yeah, he took yeah. a little. He took a little bit of a break out of it. I still like his putt the best out of. Him. Oh yeah. As far as like. The oh yeah. Chance, but. Well, pars are good. So here we are back on hole 12. So a little downhill par 3, about 140 yards from where we will be hitting from, which is not where I'm standing. The combo has actually got us on the whites, which is right in front of me here. But I like this tee box and the view from it. So I'm going to give it to you from up here because it's beautiful. So kind of another field goal hole. I mean, not nearly as tight as the last par 3. That was a real field goal of trees. But <laughs> still yet, you go left, you go right. You're in the trees here. No diggity, no doubt. So Jack went up straight. That's the plan. Probably, you know what, probably more like a 54 degrees is what I'm going to go with here. Oh gosh, that's not bad with the baby draw. Oh, look at the, oh, the bounce destroyed you. You know what though, this chippable, like it's up there. Yeah. It's well, huge. I mean, it's only from where I stand right now to the front, 2168. So it's up there, like one. 65. When I lasered it after the slope, 169 to the pin. Oh, that's it. Look at this shot. 
Oh man. On the green. Perfect! Why didn't I just let my wrist fly out of it? Just a little bit. Don't need it. Lessons learned. No. See, I told you, it's Clutch Bryson. It's Clutch Bryson. Every time we need him, he comes through. All right, here's what we got for Birdie. The man, the myth, the legend. This line, nice. All right. Come on down now. Oh wow! I Come mean, on down. I that was some gusto too. Oh no. This is this is one you can give a ride to, bro. A yeah. little bit of a ride. A little bit. Don't don't like, you know, destroy it. Right? Don't drive it. Yeah. But this is this is definitely it needs it needs the heat that you technically put on it. Oh no, you decelled it. Yeah. Man, this one, two. De decelerate. Decelerated down into the downstroke. Hate it when that happens. All right. It's Bryson for the clutch car. And, oh, yep, there it is. Solo par. Hey. Beer, 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 beer. He wasn't ready. Buddy, 413, downhill par four, dog legs a little bit to the right, and uh, shoot, yeah, driver, hit it with some cut. But if you don't, got a little, uh, a little slope on the left to play. So actually, pretty much anything you do is all right. Let's check it out. My tea, throwing my tea all over the place. <laughs> Clutch Bryson. Again, me in the mud. God. Oh my god. Oh, that's dirty. That's so dirty. That's oh, with that's the it. cut. With the oh, baby cut. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh, no. No. oh my god. Dude. This is the iron, bro. It's behind him, okay. It's, it's gotta be 20 yards behind him, but fuck. All right, I'm not, I'm not gonna <laughs> hit. I'm not gonna hit at the moment. Oh. <laughs> you definitely put some cut on that. That was the cut right there. <laughs> you know what you did there? You got so deep in your own head you were looking out of your coolest maximum. Oh, uh, the coolest maximum. <laughs> you were looking out. It's got to stay in the brown eye. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> cut right on through the trees. <laughs>
Yep. Yeah, take it safe. Super sick. So here's where we are, everybody. Just off to the left of the fairway here. Yep. I actually flew on mine, but <laughs> Brett put one seriously out here. So now we gotta send it over these trees onto that green right there and try to put it in that hole. That's what we're going to do. In the hole. Hmm. What, 100 yards here? Uh, yeah, it's, so I got from right here where I stand, 79 to get on the front, to the middle, 97, which is about where it is. So yeah, I hit your 100 yard shot. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. You gotta hit it blind. Yep, look at that. Blind shot on the green. That'd be beautiful. Oh, that could be good. Skyjack. Bob? Yeah. Well. Taking the line. Oh, you stabbed it though. Yeah. You stuck it in his feet. Mm. Alright, Austin, put that thing up there. <laughs> Bob works hard to make him plus. You should make Bob proud. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sit down now. Oh, that could be good. That could be good. We're gonna have some good ones up there. Oh, really? Did he come up short? Ah, uh, well, we'll check it out. So here's my ball. That's what we got left for birdie. Crazy shot, huh? Oh, you cleared it? Nice. So I hit right over there, and then it just rolled down this hill beautifully, but you can't really see on the camera. I mean, can you see it if I get level? Well, kind of. But yeah, it rolled all the way over to here. Just gorgeous. Just gotta love it. All right, let's see if we drain this bird ski. No, it's too much heat. I think I punched it. Well, I think I punched it. Too far. Goes left, yeah. How do you like that? <laughs> I'll show you what happens when you turn away from me. Don't you look away from the boy. <laughs> boy. Oh, turn. Oh, turn. Oh. oh. Just brutal. It, it was like it was straight. I mean, I'm not sure any of ours really broke that hard. So here we are, 
up here on the 14th. Only about 220 or 288 to get on that green way back there. It's kind of glaring on the sunlight. Yeah, I don't think. Oh, there you go. Kind of focus. So, yeah, you can oh, see the green up there. there. Yep. So a good pump. You could actually get there in one here. And yeah, the, uh, the combos have got us on the whites, which is basically the reds here today. So yeah, kind of get hooked up on this hole a little bit. So, I think we're all going to take the D stick and we're all going to have to wait till we get off the green because, uh, yeah, we could pretty much all reach here if we cleaned it up. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's take a look. Oh, gosh. Well, don't do the dunks. I'm the dunks. There it is. That's a good one. All right, now we can go for it. All right. It's only 290. We didn't want to hit up on him. We almost hit him earlier, so I mean. <laughs> Here we are at hole 14, about 65, 65 yards out. On a par four, this is stroke three. Two. Beautiful. There it is. Yeah, this is our second <laughs> Look at that shot. Look at this guy. That's it. Oh yeah. Oh, it's stuck and died a little. But. Austin going for the hole. Oh, just left and short and left. Well, we still got three balls on that green. Got options for our birdie putt, baby. Let's get up there and check it out. Taking my ball here. That's what we got for the bird ski. Got the 15th hole here, part five. About 500 yards to get on the green here from these here blue tees that this got us on. So, yeah, 
pretty straightforward, kind of blind after this ridge right in the middle of the fairway, so we don't really know what happens after that. But, yeah, safe to say, pump driver out there, try to keep it out of that trap to the right. Should be alright. Let's check it out. Oh, bang, bang. not bad. Get over that hill. Shoot. Maybe. Good hit, dude. Like <laughs> Cleaned I'll one up. It. Buttery smooth. Better than the last one, I said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's because the marshal was there. Yeah, the last marshal. One. Yeah. You know, every time the marshal's watching it, it's like, yeah, dang it. Like fresh. There it is. Zale. Hook. Holy shit, where'd that one go? Where did go? Far left. Way, way left? Left it um, went to those three pines that are right there, right before that fluffy tree. Oh. Yeah, it's right on that. Alright, everybody, here we are. Bryson piped one in the garden spot. We're about 169 after the slip feet on this stick. Suck a pin, but it's part five, so we're going forward too. What'd you hit? Eight iron. Eight iron. That should be potting. I can't see it yet. It's because of that purple fucking <laughs> <laughs> Can we see this on there? I just, you just, yeah, Brett just smoked a beautiful one up there. I can't quite tell if it's on the green, but yeah, purple ball. Kind of tough. Well, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, our, our president pro here, you see approaching the green, that's him, that's Brett, just stuck one on in two for us, we are now putting for eagle, yes sir, oh that's a beautiful thing, look at that ball, how beautiful that is, just stuck it, mmm, yep, from up here on this crazy winding fairway, what a, what a beautiful day though. What a beautiful sunset. Oh, you gotta just love it. You gotta love it. Alright, so that's what we got left for Eagle. Yep. See 
it doesn't, no, it, there's no turn to it. It's straight. Like straight. But if you get hard. close to it, it's going to break really hard. <laughs> You're probably right. It is straight. <laughs> <of> that, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Austin. Birdie. Come Austin, on. We got this eagle opportunity. You got it, but. For Big Bird. He's an eagle. For Big Bird. Yes, sir. No break. <laughs> In a house. <laughs> Back point. <laughs> we need the uh, we need the theme song from uh, what's that show? Man? Damn it, I can't remember that show. <laughs> you put some heat on that one. That's for sure. everybody after that beautiful birdie we just sunk we're now one under par on the day so yeah we got uh we got us a little par four here only 365 from where i stand on these white tees where it's got us today to get on this screen not all that bad but there's water to clear obviously right in front of us and then all the way down the right side of the hole to that green way out in the distance so if you hit a cut here yeah you're drinking <laughs> no doubt I mean, unless you, you know, aim at houses and play, play the cut that you know you play if that's what you know you do. But anyway, I digress. So, yep, I think all of us are taking the D stick. Let's pump one out there. Try to get on that left side, obviously. Let's check it out. Oh, nice. Just pumped. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, yeah. That wasn't fading enough to come back to the Oh, water. there it is. I see it rolling. It's rolling right towards him. Hey. <laughs> we found our friend. Big stick. I feel so bad. And I mean, look, there's another group ahead of them too. Like, yeah, there's, they can't go anywhere. That's yeah. why I felt bad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Now there is a girl up there, probably, probably place. three bills, maybe three, three forty. So like, if you really rip one, you might run up to her. <laughs> no, that is a long ass way. Ooh, oh, right that's got some fucking air. Right at the red, like you said. I hit through the oh, fairway. Oh, Jesus, you killed a kid. You, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I hit through the fairway. You, you committed murder. I know. You're, right. <laughs> you're literally right Murder. The a murder must foul. Yeah, dude, I just saw one back down. Oh, oh, Marshall. Oh, did it come back down? Yeah, it's right in front of us. Oh, wow. Oh, they might be drinking. Yeah, it's drinking. It's right there, yeah. Oh, nice. I love that. Right in the fairway. Yeah, I thought I went way through it, but I managed to hang on to something. Nice. Yep, I was trying to take the risk line, and I took it all right. Okay. 
Jack White. I like it. Oh, that's perfect. Oh. Yep, button. Button, sir. Take it. That's about 133 to the middle. Wait, 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 that could be good. Run, go. run, go. yes sir. Go. Oh, do, what the, don't roll that way. Roll what the heck? Did it did roll uphill. <laughs> that was, well, that was magic man all right. I mean, that was awesome. Awesome. Black that was magic. Awful hit. I was trying to go high on that. <laughs> That's what I should have done. I should have taken my like two iron and like, like worm burned it up there. <laughs> that would have been rad. Like watch me putt this fairway with this two iron. <laughs> oh god. Oh, <laughs> Dude, no. 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 <laughs> Your wrists, bro. That Your was... wrist just like died in that shot. That was terrible. It was like wah, 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 He got it. Wah. He got it. Well, we got one on the Alright everybody, here's what we got for our bird. Like, long ass putt. Freaking... <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> 40 feet or so. <laughs> hey, it's my friend, not the lost, the, the guy doing the lost. <laughs> that shit? <laughs> Man, you stuck that fearlessly, dude. That's money. I got scared of the water, I was like, just don't go in the water. Just, just bail out. What do you guys see from here? Well, right. uphill, maybe a double break. Left to right, then right to left. See how this kind of double reach? Like, right up there. So looks like it comes back to the middle, right? I don't know. I would, I would start it left. And let it feed in. Uh, but, you're going to have to hit it hard enough to take the break out of it. Okay. Uh, it killed it. Too much tuna fish. Oh, wait, we didn't mark it either. Yeah, I got it. It's like right here. Cook it. Remember, focus on your Coolius Maximus. The Coolius Maximus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> catch first. Oh shit. Oh, that was the line. I mean, straight at it. Oh, you gotta get one closer than that then. Let us down, boy. Right, just off to the left, dude. Give it the left cut, left edge. Jesus it's Christ. <laughs> Stressing me out, man. <laughs> just there get there. Go. Oh my god.
No oh way. God. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that is so much bullshit. Well, that's a bogey. That sucks. That sucks. That was an unfortunate bogey. But we're still even on the day. It's not bad. It's not bad. That was an unfortunate bogey. <laughs> that was an unfortunate bogey. <laughs> Alright. Here we are. 124. Let's 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 see what's up with this. Ooh, a skull knocked it. It's going over though. Yeah, way over. Ooh, dig a D dog. <laughs> Young backstop. <laughs> oh man. I'm lining up to the right. Oh, that's drinking. Oh no. Bleep. I think I'm gonna line up right here too. Yeah. I like this line. Drinking. Oh, oh whoa, whoa. we almost did. <laughs> oh, it is so bad. We'll be taking my shot from the Heather back there. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, on here. Trying to make these fish bigger. Come on. Please, dear Lord, baby Jesus, just let me put one on the screen. It's like I don't even care. Green. <laughs> All right, everybody. Here we are back on this 17th beautiful part three. So I stuck one on the green. Everyone else uh, missed it. <laughs> so that's what we have left for birdie. Yeah. Go figure. Me sticking a green. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Over the water, no less. Beautiful. I just love it. Oh, come on, camera. Zoom. It's starting to get a little, little dark. A little dark. So. Camera's having a tough time. All right, let's check it out. You mark it. What, you want to do it? It doesn't matter. Oh. All right. Austin, you do not need to put the ball directly next to the thing. <laughs> you can have some room. That's why I put it out there. <laughs> Lessons learned. Like, well, you're making me nervous. All right, uphill, right to left. You guys see anything else? Nope, not what so I see too. No. Don't mind me, guys. I just threw my ball down here. I'll hit it from there, right? It's like, uh... He did not toss to it. It's like, go there. Oh, no, thank you for that. Yeah. You got it. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. 
there's a bump right there that just killed it. Well, there's our bump, obviously. <laughs> All right. Uh, pretty mediocre par 4, 381 to get on that green from where I stand, so probably about 377 or something from the tee box. Oh. You're gonna be the Check it out. One, right, by hitting the... okay. Yeah. Out of range, right? Well, the way you hit uh, that no, thing, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> you, you might... <laughs> Get out of the fucking you can't way! The round unless you <laughs> that's that's the rules of the game. Pass gate. Hit those people. Eighteen. Hit the people in front of you. Like, oh, there uh, it is. Like, it the man perfect. just punches one. I don't know. Did you hit some draw on that? No, that was dead straight. Dead okay. straight. Yep. Hopefully, it's good. I think it's, I mean... Because I don't know where that lake is. Blind lake up there. It's it's right over this, when it starts to be hilly. That's mm -hmm. like where the lake starts. That's like the very start of it. And it may be 10, 15 yards in. Okay. <laughs> well... You guys are playing we, price. We got the safe shot. Uh, it's gonna uh, be the iron play, though. The iron uh, play. Yeah. Go over, go over. Oh. Uh, yeah, Alright, Austin, show us the way, baby. Oh, man. Nice practice swing. Practice swing? No practice. <laughs> practice swing? <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> cut. <laughs> Oh, were you telling me to cut earlier? Was that? I, I'm sorry, I, I totally missed that. See, that's an unfortunate turn of phrase for golf. Yes. There it is! Pipe one! Hey, hey. Yes, sir! <laughs> Austin comes through for the last drive. What do you got to say? What do you got to say? You can be on the Corn Ferry Tour next week? Feeling good. Yeah, that's what I'm he said. Be out there. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Yeah, not the card path. <laughs> Screw to the water. You know if you could play? This man says, I like to play dangerously. And he did. I guess it's like one foot away from the water. Oh my god. But, good news is, we only got like 117 to get on the front. But so, like, 150 gets the back? 147. So, yeah. Solid pitching wedge. Oh, that's it's a wedding thing. Yeah, it's a wedding party. Yeah, so they're all dressed up. Alright, sirs. Too easy. I can't believe you stayed down there like that. That's insane. Yours probably got in the water. This way. Yeah. Oh, get there. I like it. What a beautiful shot. I like it. I heard it hit. I was right there, just to the left and the right. It's about the flag stick on it, maybe. Ooh! 
There it is. It was, it was the music. It got him into it. Look at this. Yes. Austin Green's it from a buck fifty out. Yeah, you can leave the man hanging. Jeez. Hey, nice shot. <laughs> what a shot. Wow. Good shot, buddy. Yeah. It only took 18 holes. It only took 18 <laughs> holes, but Austin showed up. He showed, he showed up for a couple of shots. scared of what I did, didn't you? <laughs> Where'd you go? Like, well, is it on the other side? I don't want to power and leave it out like you did. All right, with the stick shot, that's what we got for this bird. Happy birds. We're still even on the deck. Watch me burn this hole. Oh, that was so much fun. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> nice, that was nice. Good round, fellas. Yep, yeah. gents, great to play with you. Great round, round, man. You guys are hell of a stick. Yeah, man. You guys are out, man. Oh, man. You guys are super good. <laughs> play well, buddy. Play well. Everybody yep. did. To finish one under par. Yeah. All right, everybody. So that concludes part two of this two-part series out here at Plum Creek in Castle Rock. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous day. I mean, playing into the sunset like we are, yeah, just beautiful. And yeah, we, we couldn't have asked for better playing partners today. I mean, yeah, the, the, the group in front of us, the group behind us, they were yep, the great patrons, I guess, a little early. Yeah, they were, uh, they were something else, but we lucked out with Bryson and Brett. Yeah, okay. super cool cats to play with. Really super appreciative sense. for those guys. And we just ran into them out here. We are like, hey man, you guys want to vlog it with us? They were like, yeah, sure, we'll do it. We'll do a four ball scramble with you. And then, yeah, and then, we, and then we ran it. So as you can see, I drained that last putt for birdie. After your boy here stuck one on the green, excellent, over that water. I left it out to the right, unfortunately, put it in the water. I've been hitting it to the left all day. I was like, you know what? I'm just taking my wrist back right now and I'm just gonna slap it around, see if I can just poke a nice kind of you know, straight shot out there, take a little bit of that hookiness off of it. Yeah, I paid the price for that, put one in the drink. <laughs> but uh, yep, your boy Austin came through, and uh, I think I think we took Brett's ball on the last on the last hole. Right? Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah, we took Brett's and stuck it up on the back there, and then I drained the puck for it, so that was beautiful. I think that was a, that was a family pot, really, because really. um, we took, we took uh, Bryson's drive, Bryson's drive, Brett's approach, and then I sunk it. Yeah. Had I missed it though, Austin would have buried it, and then it would have been a real, a real family. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so, yep, finishing up the day at one under par. So not bad, 71. Pretty good. I like it for uh, for a four ball scramble. A bunch of guys who don't get out here to play this course a whole lot, and there's a lot of blind shots. Um, a lot of, a lot of. Uh, Elevation changes, so on the par threes and whatnot, we have a we had a rangefinder laser thing with, with 
slope on it, so that helps. Right? But still, ball flight, if you miss, and you know, you miss downhill left to right, it's exaggerated because the ball's traveling further left to right. So, is what it is. Like you saw in that one part three downhill, I can't remember what hole, but you know, I just put it way out there to the left. But, of course, Bryson cleaned it up for us and nailed the green. So. What do you think of the back nine, man? What's your opinion? My opinion, back nine, I like the back nine better than the front nine. Uh, all, all together is great, but the back nine, I had some better shots on the back nine. Yeah, the and, boy played uh, better, that's for sure. It's uh, <laughs> and, and, you know, still the same beautiful scenery the entire time, you know. Was, I like, but personally, I find the back nine to be my favorite. I agree. You know, the back nine, it's it's a little more scenic. The, the front nine, you've got a couple of stretches of holes there. Well, really, really, maybe one or two holes that are kind of up against a deserty sort of view off to your left there, kind of as you look at the highway at, uh, at 25. But then you get that field goal par three that just puts you right back in the woods and you feel right back in the, you know, at home again, so to speak, out here in this green state of Colorado. So, But I agree, the back nine is definitely more, it, it, it makes you feel more like you're gone from the world and you're on the golf course now, on a different planet. Nothing else matters, it's just you. But anyway, so uh, full course review, uh, price point. I mean, what do we pay? 50, I mean, we played Twilight, obviously we're doing the closeouts as the sun's going down. The Castle Rock's behind us, I don't know if you can quite see that anymore, but it's beautiful out there. But uh, yeah, it was like 53 bucks. Yeah, right? so it was like uh, 50, between 53 and 57 bucks. Yeah. It was very, very good price for what we got. This yeah, let me tell you, for, for Castle Rock, I gotta say, this is the best bang for your buck right here. I mean, you're paying at Ridge of Castle Pines, also over here, you're paying you know, over 100. I played Twilight out there and got in for under 100, 90 something or other, if I remember right. And then Red Hawk Ridge. Red Hawk Ridge, I think I played a, around the same prices here. I think it was in the mid 70s, if I remember right. So this course, definitely cheapest, but as you can see through the day, I mean, through this, through this two part series, every bit as gorgeous as both of those places. So it, if you're in the area and you're looking for bang for your buck, yeah, this is it right here. This is where you need to be. Um, let's see here. Uh, fairways, yeah, like I mentioned before, fairways were in great shape. Greens were in great shape. Uh, yeah, a, a couple of greens were a little splotchy, but you know, not so much that it really caused notice. And um, yeah, rolling fine, like I said before, around a nine or a 10, I would say. Uh, and very fair. There was no green that was off type, I would say. I, I hit no putt through the whole day where I thought, hmm, this green wasn't like the others. Do you agree? Do you think there was any, any hole where it was like the green was not matched for the other greens? In terms of speed? They, like, oh, yes, yeah, as, as far as speed, they, they were all pretty smooth um, all across the board. Yeah. I don't think there was any, there wasn't any noticeable um, variation of changes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, okay, the staff here. The staff here is excellent. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, we, uh, I, yeah we, we got to talk to a couple of marshals there, super polite. And the guys in the clubhouse, super great. Cy out here, I think Cy's running the show. Super great dude. So I got to, got to chat with him for a brief moment. Well, I mean, everybody out here, super friendly. They happen to be, you know, what is it with me and showing up to courses with weddings? I was at I was at Shining Mountain a few weeks ago. There was a wedding there. There was a wedding here tonight. So I wanted to actually go and check out the clubhouse that they just built out here. It's basically a brand new clubhouse. But I uh, can't go in there because they're having a wedding in there. So they've got their temp clubhouse set up. and kind of disappointed I didn't get to check it out today. But that's all right. We're going to be out here again. So no doubt. Next time we will we'll check out the clubhouse and I will comment on that. Because it's brand new. So I've got high expectations of that clubhouse sitting right, right behind the camera here, in front of me, behind you. But, uh, yeah, uh, so far as the course difficulty, I, w I would probably put, pretty, put it pretty fair to Midland. Like, yeah, I mean, everything's pretty fair. Nothing's crazy narrow. Uh, you could come out here if you're, a, if you're you know, decent enough, even a beginner golfer, you can come out here and have a good time. You're not gonna really get your lunch evening that bad. There's some blind shots. There's some, you know, blind lakes like on 18 there where you can't even see the lake. Right? Yes, it was. Like, it, you have no idea. Whenever you, whenever you walk up to it, you're like, what am I looking at? Yeah. But then you then you actually hit the ball and then you know, it starts making mistakes. Yep, yep. 
So there's some shots like that where, um, yeah, if you, if, you, if you miss it, then you're, you're really done. But the trouble that you get into here, left and right, I mean, there's, there's a pretty good area of buffer off of the fairway, I would say. There's not just a tiny patch of rough and it's like, well, now you're in the jail, now you're in the, in the trees. There's a, there's a pretty wide bit of rough before you're really in trouble. So you have the opportunity to miss a little, a little more out here if you if you're maybe having a weird day, like I was, snap looking, right, half the day. But, you know, I'm working on my shot, yeah. Well, I'm working on being able to work my shot, so let's say it that way. I, I want to be able to hit it left and right, no matter what club it is, but that's a dangerous way to play this game. But that's the way I want to play it, because I like to live dangerously. <laughs> so, anyway, um, yeah, that's that's my assessment of the course. And the patrons, um, like I said, you know, the, the last two times I've been out here in Castle Rock, again, at uh, Ridge Castle Pines and Red Hawk Ridge, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't too favorable of the other patrons out here. Today, we lucked out. We got paired up with a couple of great dudes. Had a great time with them. But the, the group in front of us and behind us, they were kind of, you know, uh, I would say less, less than favorable. <laughs> and playing real slow in front of us. And then really fast behind us. So that's always an awkward situation to be in, right? Where you're pushing the group in front of you hardcore all day and then the group behind you is obviously pushing you and, yeah anyway but yeah. it is what it is yeah and all in all though it really wasn't that bad. still ended up being great yeah oh absolutely yeah. and that's 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 pretty much my my full course assessment there i don't think i missed anything what do you think about the course in general in general good course um few technical spots some blind areas but overall you um it's, it's very adaptable, um, very beautiful, very fun. Um, like the, the pair we got um, that we played golf with, super cool guys. And um, yeah, it was just a great time. Like the entire course was amazing. I guess. Yeah. Concur. Get out here, play Plum Creek. Excellent track. And we'll see you guys next time back on the channel. Hopefully Austin will be with me again next week, and hopefully I'll have another guest as well. So we'll see if the, the, the gal that was supposed to be out here today couldn't make it. So hopefully she'll be able to make it next week. And I think that we're going to try to play um, Colorado National up in Erie. So that should be really cool. I've never played there before, so that'll be something. Might do a scramble up there too. I have a lot of fun playing this format so I can screw up a bunch of shots and somebody will come in and save me. and then. Yeah, you know, maybe I can be the hero at some points in the day and save everybody else. Like that yeah. Shot. Yeah. You know, like that last <laughs> shot. Well, I stuck the green on 17 too. I stuck that that green over the way. Oh yeah. On the par three. I stuck it. Sometimes I get to be the hero. Sometimes I need to be saved. <laughs> it is what it is. What but it when means. you get to play like that and say, "Yeah, we shot one under par today," well, you can't argue with that. <laughs> it's just a good time no matter what you do. But yeah. So anyway, hopefully we see you back next week for. Yeah, hopefully Colorado National. I haven't made the tee times yet, so got to get on that real quick. This tee times fly out the window here. But anyway, if not there, then we'll be somewhere else. Somewhere else cool. Either way, we'll be playing next weekend. And we'll see you back on Midgard Golf. Thanks again. Have a great day.